Hey hello everybody, my name is Kate Demar. Welcome back from the video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're going to continue the series, boys. We're ready to meet up with uh, Beerstrand right there. Let's go ahead and uh, and do it. By the way, boys, I don't know if I already mentioned it in the previous video of, uh, of Cyberpunk and stuff like that uh, yesterday, but I do want to wish you guys a very uh, happy, bur uh, happy New Year and stuff like that. Uh, I hope that you all are all gonna have a, a fantastic new year and stuff like that i've had a pretty decent year myself uh, so far in 2020 aside from all the covid stuff didn't really have too much happening a lot of changes in real life uh, due to work and stuff but aside from that nothing too crazy right it was a pretty normal year for me pretty decent year not a lot of growth for my channel uh, not a lot of stuff happening here is hoping that 2020 uh 21 is actually going to be uh, fantastic. It's, uh, I'm going to have a little bit more growth on my channel, a lot of stuff like that. Here's hoping that everything turns out to be great, boys. So let's just continue this series right here. Let's just uh, have some fun. And here's hoping that we're going to have uh, a lot better um, uh, stuff happening for the games because we had a lot of fantastic games coming out this year or last year, I guess, 2020. And uh, a lot of great potentials like Cyberpunk and all these things. The only one that really came up, uh, well, that was a big time surprise, was obviously Ghost of Tsushima, which was still the best, best one by far for me, the best game of the year. But afterwards, all the other games, aside from maybe Spider-Man, which was exactly what I was expecting it to be, uh, the other games were a little bit below the standards. So I don't know, even this right now, the one I'm playing, Assassin's Creed, a bit below my standards. Uh, still, it's still a pretty good game, but uh, I don't know, boys. It's just every single game for some reason has glitches, had glitches or problems behind the scenes and stuff. I hope it's not going to be the case last year, uh, next year. Have your things asked why you do not look for Estri? Pish. They have asked. Yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt. You really want to hunt right now? How, wait, how long is this gonna take? I literally did everything he asked me to do. Uh, all this little side quests and stuff like that. I, I did everything he asked me to do. Now he wants me to hunt with him. What a waste of time this whole mission is, boys. Or just wasting time, I guess, right now. I don't know whether, when the actual main mission, main stuff is gonna happen because. I figure out that this is clearly like not really a main mission. This is just some side stuff that appears to be main stuff. That's just how the game goes, I guess. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Beerston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lamas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Alvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. I think he would make a great father and stuff. I still don't uh, think he, he makes a great elderman. Pretty weak elderman, to be honest. If he will, is willing to go all the way uh, to that plan of heirs. Just to go and, I guess, get his mistress as his new wife and stuff like that. That seems a bit too much to me. Uh, now we gotta hunt some boars. But I'm doing my best, alright? Let's just hunt some boars, I guess. There we go. Got, uh, got some right there. So we just gotta hunt a bunch of them, I guess. There we go. It's telling me actually where they are, so that's fantastic for me. That's a really good for me. Preven uh, prevents me from having too much work right here. Down there, so... Let's go. Kill him off. Fortunately enough, I've got plenty of arrows to spare, so... There we go. Plenty of arrows to spare, boys. And... Get him. There goes the... Alright, that's all of it. 
Yeah, we did pretty well. Uh, what's next? A good hunt. Are we good uh, for the, uh, the feast? For one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I have been nothing but amused. They're a welcome change to wearing yars and his sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerstan, the heart hound who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. All right, well, join Beerstrand and Alfida. Uh, I guess all the way there. Now, Beerstrand's right there, so I guess I'll get there before him or something. Uh, we're gonna go to the feast. Very interesting, boys. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, everything goes right, and hopefully, I don't have to. Uh, nothing goes bad. I'll have to uh, stick there for too long because if I have to keep, if I have to stay here for, uh, for a little while doing a bunch of bullshit like this, I, I mean. I really did not enjoy too much this little arc. This arc feels like really a big time filler. And I do not like it, boys. Don't like filler arcs, to be honest. Alright, here we are, boys. I'm supposed to enter this palace or something? I think this is the Grand pl Palace and stuff, right? This is where uh, he's waiting to get the feast. Oh, it's already there, actually. Everybody's already feasting. Hopefully nobody knows this is that... Uh, I'm the same thing that basically capture Estrid and stuff. That would be pretty bad if that was the case. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister! Have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elwich. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hammock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stole him, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you well... Child? How did that? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never. <laughs> My lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. So I imagine the way she said it, I imagine what we're supposed to do is just do one last mission, boys. We gotta prevent the whoever got wind of all everything that uh, was happening here. We, uh, we gotta prevent it from happening. So I imagine we just gotta travel there. Uh, by horse, I don't need to actually fast travel or anything. It doesn't seem like it's there's any point in doing that. Let me just take my horse really quick. Or right, there we go, my dear. Uh, in that case, and we're gonna travel there. We're gonna speak to Rolo, and afterwards, once I've dealt with that, uh, he's supposed to help me out. So right, we're gonna have his uh, his help and stuff like that. So let's just travel to Rolo again. All right, here you go, boys. Red the camp again. Now, hopefully they're gonna be fine or we're gonna have probably gonna have to protect them or something they got caught so probably spies and stuff right that uh, they caught them and all so now we gotta we gotta tell them they gotta leave this place and quick what how can this be lork stand by Estrid. guard her with your life 
if she's taken, all is lost for us and Beeston. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Lark! Oh, there goes Lark. All right, well, let's do this. Let's protect, uh, let's kill the Saxons, I guess, boys. What, where is she going? Where are you going, boys? You're gonna just attack a, a bunch of random people? at the biggest uh, danger out there? Okay, you know what? This got the mass, man. Might be my second uh, worst enemy right here. Let's go. Attack them all, boys. It's just like that. There we go. Kill them all. Get your head off. Just gotta kill a bunch of them, I guess. I killed already one of them. I don't know why it's, it told me right there I didn't kill anybody, but that's interesting. I guess it, it goes up every time I kill a couple of them, I guess. Kill them off. Just like that. Nice camera angle right there, game. Good lord. All right, let's go, go, go. Uh, where's they at? Uh, they're all there. Got you, buddy. You're all gonna die today. You're not taking your back. No, it's not happening. You already know. Definitely not happening. All right. Uh, and any more soldiers? There's a big dude right here. I'm just gonna kill him off real quick, boys. There he goes. That's one of them right there. There's more soldiers right here. Kill all of them off right there. There you go. There goes him. Oh, there's a bunch of archers and stuff uh, as well. Oh, there's a, um, a big guy. Why? Oh, God damn it. I hate when he does that. All right. Here goes my special. Now it worked and stuff. Get him. Come on. No, no, no. Uh, he's going to block everything. Okay, I got him. Finally. He was going to block everything. We almost got all of them. Or at least the objective that I'm supposed to get right here, boys. So let's kill as many as possible, really. It's just a complete chaos right now. We're really trying their best to get them. Uh, I can't show up again, right? So this is definitely it. If I rescue them, I feel like this is definitely it. I can't show up again after this. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, they're all going to notice me. They know I'm... I've been working with uh, these these guys for by now. Okay, no, you know what? How about you die? It's all of you, man, dying. Okay, wow. Okay, there's a lot of them. It's a bunch of guys as well as skirmishers and stuff like that that uh, are dodging all my attacks. It's super annoying. So I gotta really make this. Quick. There we go. I got it. Get out of them. There we go. That's uh, one of them, and that's another one. Let's go, man. Kill them all. Uh, is there more of them? There we go. Just kill them off. All of them. Get the skirmisher right now. There's one of them. Uh, how many How many do I have to kill, actually? Good lord. Look at this, boys. The bar is still uh, like a third of the bar, basically. I guess we really have to kill every single one of them. There we go. Pikeman goes down. And we got everybody. Good. Let me just revive him really quick. Revive all these guys and uh, let's talk to Estrid. Is she okay? Can she finally leave this place and stop uh, feasting and stuff like that? Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Oh, all right. So that arc is complete, boys. Another simple arc, really. It's literally like an, a one-hour uh, arc. It's a really small, uh, small one and simple one. And now we're ready to uh, get off to our camp again. And uh, I guess choose another arc. I don't know how many arcs do we have to do. We really have to do all of them. I don't know. I don't know if we actually have to do all of them. It would probably make sense. But again, I don't know what the game is all about, to be honest. Because I thought it would be, it would be uh, uh, for assassins and stuff. But I guess it's not. You know, I'm going to fast travel real quick. Uh, the game is feels like it's not really an Assassin's Creed game. It's, it's once again one of these problems where, yes, there's assassins in it, but you're not an assassin yourself. You can even be a Templar, a Parker, or something like that, right? So it's not very clear as to what you are or who you work for exactly. It really isn't clear enough, boys. We're back at the camp. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Renvy. What's going on here? Another dispute? 
Now you're not gonna let me uh, deal with that, right? Because Sigurd is back. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Sigurd should be de handling that right now. Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. Yeah. Sigurd's duty it's now. Sigurd's duty. He's here. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. Excuse me, I'm not the Jarl. Not Sigurd is the Jarl. Yes. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. Oh my god. All right. You gotta be One kidding day. me. Do I really have to dis... Guthrum. I really have to di listen to another Come goddamn forward. dispute, man. I'm really the boss at this point. Sigurd is not. Like he's back at the camp, he's not even even doing his duty. What the hell, boys? What the, what's the point of saving his ass then? Good run. I will hear from you. Oh my god. I will I, I will hear for both of you. All right. What the fuck do you want, guys? You may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. The scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sale with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Such a stupid stuff, man. Just handle it yourself. Why do I have to handle everything myself? Especially I, I, when Sigurd is in this Holger, camp himself, boys. Defense. Completely Shortest. ridiculous. salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel good to and disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. I've heard enough, I guess. I've heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Holger has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Enough, both of you. Gudrun is right. That cloth belonged to her. No matter if it was in the trash or not, it belonged to her. Holger, you shouldn't have done it, all right? Uh, just because something is s hidden somewhere, you should always ask before taking, all right? Always ask someone before taking something. Now, this was wrong. You know it. Uh, just give her back to her. She can sell it for a higher value. You're both going to be happy. Like, give me a break here. Stupid conversation right now. What is this? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? That duty is mine alone, Eivor. Well, do it no then. Place. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skull? My Jarl, as I was saying, I... Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun 
the value of 30 Seltos. 30 times? Surely the chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Hey, I'm not the one judging. He's the... He's the Jarl. That's his job. That's not mine. I was about to pass on the same judgment anyway. I support Sigurd's judgment. Alright? Whatever he does, I support it. He's the goddamn Jarl. Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my Jarl. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> now sure, he pays a little bit too much, but at least he won't do it again. Now you're gonna stop bothering me at least. I mean, I told it myself. That's Renvi literally telling me, oh, you gotta do it yourself. And then Sigurd comes out and bashes me because I'm doing it instead of him. Like, what am I missing here? Honestly, I'm getting trolled big time, boys. I really am. Renvi, nice talk to, to your fucking husband, for Christ's sake. Stop putting me into this problem, man. You gotta really talk to your husband. I gotta talk to Sigurd, actually. He's my brother. I gotta talk him up, boys. Don't know what's going on with him. His god complex is giving me the creeps. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Well, there's another pledge done, I guess. Uh, that whole thing with Sigurd was something else, boys. Sigurd is slowly losing his goddamn mind. His god complex is taking over his head, boys, I swear. Uh, Yonfix recruiting. So we do have Rolo under our clan as well, which is great. I'm not really going to use him anyways. doesn't matter, but always great to have somebody else. Uh, let's read this. Well, I don't know. Uh, I wish to thank you and Eivor. Okay. Uh, let's, I guess, pledge for the next part. Or what are we doing here? Talk to Tira. What is this? What is this mission? So we got like a, another side quest or something. Oh, okay. No. It's just a bunch of stuff. So we still can go. We could always go back to Asgard. I, don't, I still think I'm too low on level, boys. To do these types of things. To do, go back to Asgard and experience whatever, man. So I feel like I do have to actually uh, do these missions. You see, it says suggest failure 350. So it's, it still says it's a bit too much. What about you, uh, item? Basim. Or Basim. Have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful, introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people, Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed. Alright, well, is that all you had to say to me? I'm actually gonna go ahead and pledge to a new place, boys. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to her up I really quick. See. There you go, Alliance map. We're gonna choose our new place. I guess we, we really do have to do every single one of them. I got a feeling that's what's gonna have to happen here. So 160, 220, 250, 190. So I got a feeling. Is there one in particular that gives me more stuff? I am not sure, boys. I think I'm just gonna go to Lincolnshire then. 
I think that's the best option for us to do, boys, is definitely go there. So we're well, going to go there. Lincolnshire. A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. Alright, well, I'll pledge to Lincolnshire, I guess. Let's do it, boys. Uh, different area, so Lincolnshire. Uh, next area we're gonna pledge, New Ark, boys. Sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Alright, so while Sigurd is doing basically nothing in his side right here, I'll just do whatever right here. So let's uh, go ahead and do our thing. There's actually a message left for me in my Looks quarters like right here. Let's read the letter right here. See what it uh, reads to me. So Beerstrand just got me a letter and stuff. What's uh, what's going on, my guy? Uh, Eivor, I've sent you a small gift. I bet you'll like this bow. I wish I could do more. You've helped me to get back on track and reconnect with Alfeda. I'll never forget it. Okay, so it gave me like a, a bow and stuff. Interesting. Take uh, beer strength gifts. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Hunter uh, Hunter bow. Now I don't think it's a really good bow that much. I'm still gonna keep it, I guess. But it's yeah, it's not as good as the one I already had. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the one I have, boys. Okay. And next up, do we have? We had another message, but I can't read it for some reason. So I don't know, boys. We'll just go ahead. Uh, speak to Onval. So we got someone in the actual camp right here wanted to talk to us. That's interesting. He's nearby the docks. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, he's got something to do apparently with Lincolnshire, so we might as well interact with him. Don't know what's going on too much right now. Oh, what is this? Uh, who are you? Okay. Uh, recruit we can just recruit Hello. this guy no matter let's just do our thing right here you all who are you you may think this odd but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem may i recite it for you go on lord the boy make me tremble oh indeed i shall try i call it ode to a hungry flame another scald come to join us me Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Don't think he, she believes Shall you, my I guy. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. We'll see. I all all here are great warriors. Who are you? Yeah, everybody here is a great warrior. Eivor is no different. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because her name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I fear nothing. <laughs> These guys are looking at me. They're what like, your name, Lord? tell him already. We're playing the Yoda trick on him. Loyal son of Lord Hunbeorg, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. We can probably arrange something if you're willing to help us out eventually. Are you worried about your father or your title? What use do we have for a sick elderman? Uh, we can help you for something in return, exactly. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. 
I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. Hold on now. I'm not the chieftain. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. Hof hopefully Sigurd didn't hear that. That boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Look, we'll do it. Whatever, man. We'll just escort him, I guess. That's what he wants, right? He wants a great warrior like us to just escort him back to his his home. Don't think it's as simple as that, but we can try. Order clues. So we just, yeah, so a member of the order, basically a Templar. Is part of this whole mission, which is all the more reason to help him out. Uh, the Crozier. Okay, so this is the guy we're going to go after, I guess. Uh, we need only one more clue uh, for him. The Liar. So, uh, the Leer or the Rake. And we got these two. We still are missing out on another guy right here. Still, uh, I still don't know who could be the, the one. I got a feeling that... Let's look at his portrait really quick. What does it look like? He looks like to be a Dane to me, but at the same time, he could look like the bis bi Bison as well. It wouldn't surprise me if it was Bison, to be honest, boys. It really, really wouldn't surprise me at all. So let's just do the mission right here. Uh, where do we got to go? Over here? Yeah, Lincolnshire. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Can I fast travel to the town itself? Don't think I can, so just go ahead and fast travel to the next uh, nearest position right here. All right, boys, so Onwall is supposedly waiting for me in this uh, hall right here, right? So I imagine I just got to go inside and meet up with him, uh, meet up with him. Yeah, he should be waiting for me right here. Uh, let's see what his old plan is. Uh, how does he plan on uh, getting back to his homeland, I guess? Onwall, who is the stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Algar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Unvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Algar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. Why is he speaking so out loud right now? Everybody's gonna hear him. What the hell? Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose. You are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. You have a plan. Our success depends on you, my guy. I can only bring you as far as your father, Hunwald. You are the man who must reach his heart and lead him to reason. <laughs> are we talking about the same man? Your father is a spendthrift, Hunwald. He ran this shire into the muck. <laughs> oh, Algar, you jest. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's site. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Algar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance. I'll stove your heathen face right in. You don't want to fight, my guy. You do not want to fight. Let me buy you a drink instead. 
Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Hey, wife! For these stout Saxons around on me. Well, that's, uh... Uh, that's kind of you. Unexpected, like. Very unexpected, isn't it? I got plenty of money to spend. Might as well spend it on uh, bribes, boys. Cheers to this day. One who knows the true worth of silver. Exactly. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. I feel like this guy's gonna, this You've boy's gonna get himself killed. He's with me. You'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar. The boorish nag of Lincolnshire. What now? What has he done now, boys? Uh, I gotta apologize in advance if you hear something in the back, boys. That is just my father being my father, I guess. So I gotta apologize in advance. You're probably gonna hear uh, big vibrations or big stuff. It's just uh, him doing boom boom behind the back uh, with the music. I can't stop it. He's not gonna stop it. So uh, it is what it is. I'll just uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it, boys. I'll try to uh, edit it out as much as possible, but uh, can't promise anything. All right, let's kill these guys real quick. Oh shit! Let's get him up. Got him. Boom. I gotta kill uh, other dudes as well? Where they all come from, man? I swear, he cannot walk away for two seconds without people killing him off. Unbelievable. Alright, get off him, man. You're off my client right now. I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttleston will be remembered for years to come! Alka, we have won our first great victory! This man is on another level, my guy. Never better, I. We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairs and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemy. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me. I guess he did get exiled, right? It sounds like a, it sounds like he got exiled, boys. It sounds pretty much like it's a. Well, I, I don't know about you, my guy, but it sounds like you're not welcomed by your father. You either got replaced, you probably got another, another heir or something. Something's got to do with that because otherwise, why would he uh, throw away oh, his own some heir? Nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunvald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No. All right, we're back in Lincoln. There's yes, Lincoln, Lincoln, boys. We're gonna escort him back in here. No worries. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be a bunch of people trying to attack us. Obviously, because at the gates there's always soldiers and stuff. But we should be all right, nonetheless. It doesn't matter too much. Let's actually, uh, I can't put the cloak on because they already noticed me and stuff. All right, well, let's put him back in here, boys. Just like that. Uh, are we good here? This is where you wanted to be, huh? Well, follow me, boy. We're here. Must be blocked from the other side. Door is blocked? You're kidding me. Now, how do we get inside then? 
That's a, that's not good. Actually, going to poke my cloak on this. It's going to be much better. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do this the smart way, my guy. Follow me, right behind you, Shadow Walker. I have my heart. There we go. Let's go inside right here. Now this should be open, right? Ah, there we go. Just like that, my guy. You're in. Uh, we're our anonymous, and uh, we should be good right here. So, wait, we are not anonymous. What, what are you talking about? Ah, there we go. Hunwald, praise God, you live. I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? Excuse me? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. I guess that explains it. It's a takeover. It's not actually him doing any exiling. Who took him away? Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords and those of the cloth. And a healer too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrib among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye, there have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right, we'll find a quiet way in if we can. Alright, well, let's uh, find a way uh, in there, I guess. We're gonna find... Uh... Escort him to the town's hall. Yeah, let's fellow? find some clues, I, I imagine. We're gonna Excuse try and find some clues. Can these guys Loyal not the see end. me? Like, two seconds. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. If you say so. Uh, let's go to the Attack town's hall, him. boys. Maybe we can have a puzzle or find, a, 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 find uh, like some clues and stuff as to where... Uh, the actual elderman might have uh, been kidnapped or what happened to him exactly uh, i got a feeling he just got kidnapped by a bunch of templars and stuff like that and they wanted to take over makes kind of sense to be honest uh that's the whole reason as to why the son is uh kind of got exiled at the same time i don't know why they went into all that trouble though they could have just simply decided to kill him off in the first place now where are we going we're going there there we go don't know, it keeps uh, showing me different places and stuff. Is it because escort uh, Onwald? All right. Onwald is like stuck right now, it looks like. I really got to go look after him. What is he doing right now? Can he not jump into these walls and stuff? Do I have to go very linear with him? I guess I have to go super linear with him, right? All right, we got this, boys. We're right there in the temple. Finally, we have arrived. Archer! Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwald, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north. Bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's in love with. I'm only doing this boy a favor. Don't hide your elderman behind insults, my guy. Exactly. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. 
you know, clearly that priest is on it. Uh, he's clearly a Templar, boys. He asked me to protect him, not to kill for him. Y if I meant you armed, you'd be dead already. This is between the boy and his father. Now, if I meant you armed, you'd be already dead. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens. God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hunrod, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. To be honest, I don't feel like he's safer in these walls than outside. I feel like he's, uh, he's actually safer outside than in these walls, but uh, whatever. Uh, it feels like uh, they're all in it. Every, the entire town feels like uh, it's that type of place where they all wanted to get rid of him. Uh, let's, uh, we, I did level up uh, twice, so I do have four skill points to use. I'm going to go ahead and use one of them over Way of the Raven. Another one, Light of uh, a light Attack, Heavy Resistance. It's going to knock a new skill tree. And uh, I'll knock this one as well, Stealth. All right. So that's done. Inventory, we got some new stuff in there in the bag, I guess. Yeah, new rune and stuff, which uh, gives us assassination, assassination damage, which I don't really need that much. Uh, quest, new, brand new quest in the absence of other men. Search, uh, search for the auspice. We'll definitely do that. Uh, I'm guessing it's in there, I guess. So just kill these guys really quick. Can I open this door? Here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. So there is the, there's gotta be a pathway uh, up there. Yeah, seems like this might be the pathway actually. It seems like the proper uh, proper one. Let's lift it up. Yeah, seems like I can just enter this place. Yeah, just like that, boys. As simple as that. Let's cut down really quick. So the heroes may know something. Let's talk to them really quick. You know anything about uh, what's going on here? Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our Lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. All right, well, we got some answers right here, boys. Let's go ahead and do our thing right here. We got to find him in some type of runes and stuff. Uh, I got a feeling it's just a big time coup d'etat. It's obviously it's. So we just got to find him before they kill him or something bad, like really bad happens to him or something like that. So let's just uh, do our thing, really. Let's try and save him up. Oh, God, there we go. Oh, no, I didn't get it. God damn, how the fuck did that happen? All right, so explore the bathhouse. Is it that far away? It's probably behind the walls, right? Let's try and get there, boys. By the way, I really want to thank you guys for your incredible support over the past few weeks, past few days, obviously. It means a lot to me. A brand new year, obviously, for us as of uh, as I'm speaking. So I really wish that uh, this new year is going to be fantastic, both for you guys and uh, for me as well. Uh, let's uh, explore this bathhouse right here. Now, I don't know what you guys are doing here, but you don't look like uh, actual Saxon soldiers to me. You're really going to do that trick on me, man. It's not going to work. Boom. All right. Uh, is he in here? Oh, there's another guard right here. Oh, now you don't. 
You really think, you really thought you could just attack me right there. Oh god, he got me. He got me right there, boys. I'm gonna get him back. No, you don't. Get him. Alright, he's dead. We got him, boys. Choke him to death right now. Big dude right there. Alright, we got him. Okay, so. Explore the bathhouse, I guess. We gotta do that. Doing a lot of uh, shady things, boys. Let's go down really quick. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? I'm gonna try and do this the stealth way as much as possible. This is how Assassin's Creed is supposed to be played after all, you know? So, might as well try and play the game as, as in, intended to be played. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, go right there. Actually gonna create all of this. This is for the health. You see, uh, is he anywhere near here? I, I, we're probably gonna notice him eventually. Right? We're gonna see him we're following the path right here. Baptized by a mud priest. <laughs> funny, Avor. Very funny. All right, let's go in. Oh, they're gonna notice me. It's like a trap and something. It's gonna make noise right there. I should be cautious around here. Get him, right there. That was beautiful, by the way. That was a really beautiful assassination. Uh, is there anybody else right here? Oh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them, and I don't know where the guy is. Uh, the elderman is. He's definitely not here, so... Maybe we can parkour our way out of here? I got a feeling we can. Let's, do it. Let's just do that, boys. Let's just parkour our way out of here. No, you don't. You don't see me. You are not seeing me. No, 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 no. There we go. Jump. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, nobody need no this is me boys. We are in. Let's go. I feel like that's all the way I have to do really. I don't really have to kill them all. I just gotta get past them right now. Probably go Oh god, my control is going down. No. Alright boys, we should be good. I've got uh, myself the second controller. Um, my sister's controller, so for now I'm gonna have to use it. For the rest of the video at least. So let's see what we got here. About what? Let's see what we got right here, boys. So, is this the man we were looking for? That's that's actually a girl. It looks like a girl. Uh, d don't tell me that's the elder man. So, a bunch of bandits just attacked them, I guess. Don't know why they decided to go there in the first place, but uh, I got a feeling it's in really bad shape right now. I uh, got a couple more clues, maybe? Uh, on your about? There is a clue right there. Hold on. I do see a clue uh, over here. Maybe we can find something right here. Is that uh, what we got? So he went this way. All right. Interesting. Uh, any other clue I could find right here? I mean, look at this. We got a trail of blood right here. So that could be the perfect thing right here. I, I got the trail of blood. I don't know why we need any more clues. Okay, let's go down there then. Let's get the key, boys. The key fell down and stuff, so I got the key. There we go. We have received an offer from an unnamed Saxon requesting safe passage to the sewers to Bolingbroke. The amount is considerable, which leads me to believe that they have something of great value they cannot afford to be seen with. Interesting. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits. Paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. So we gotta continue to find the lead, I guess. He just basically went away to right that direction, boys. Uh, which is where exactly? Can I fast travel there? Is there a, a closest path? To nope, there's not really a, a closest path. So just gotta follow the lead, boys. All right then. Oh no, jump! There we go. Get out of there. Right, I'm gonna actually go down from that side, and then we'll take my horse and uh, go go on to that direction, boys. All right, we're here, boys, at the uh, place, I guess, Bro uh, Bowling Brock Castle. This is where he supposedly is. This seems like definitely, I mean, this is definitely a, an enemy's base, so 
We're gonna get I have to enter this place, I guess. I don't think I can raid it. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to call on a raid or something. So I'm just gonna kill all these guys. Do as much as possible. Nobody saw me just yet. Well, we can probably do this the stealthy way then. Try as much as possible to do this the stealthy way at least. If it's even possible. So let's try it out, boys. There's some guards here and there, but I know I'm supposed to go through that direction. There's a guard that's gonna see me right there. Let's just get him off. Get him off, get him off. Got him. Get him off. There we go. Is he dead? Nobody heard that? Please tell me nobody heard that, boys. Uh, there is a guy with a key, so I imagine I'm gonna have to kill him off because uh, if, the, if there's a guy with a key, that means I'm gonna need to open a door or something, so... I imagine I'm gonna have to uh, go after him. So let's just do it right away. Yeah, deal with him really quick. There we go. Oh, that's a big dude as well. Deal with him, boys. Get him up. All right, got him. This guy's dead. Can't shoot right now in the chest. Get the key uh, right from you right there. So I think I got the key. I think I'm good. Let's go. Oh my God. They've got some uh, crossbows and stuff. That's not good. No, 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 you don't. Okay. You know what? He's gonna... Do whatever you want to do, my guy. Okay, I'm just here to for to find the elderman. I don't care about the rest. Let's go in, boys. Now this palisades they're gonna prevent me from from climbing, aren't they? Oh no, actually no. There was a, a weak point in these palisades. Interesting. Uh, what I did manage to climb up. All right, let's go, go, go. Jump up. Is he in there somewhere? I think he's in there, right? He's in. Uh, that direction so let's keep moving boys i don't have much time left to play so we just go ahead and deal with this as much as possible there we go kill him off and uh you are about to die as well just as easy as that let's uh stomp him up all right uh, and next up let me just loot everything that's there there is a door right there so i imagine that's what the the key was there for i guess right I imagine at least Open the door. Okay, there we go. Uh, he's probably on top right there. Yeah, we gotta keep looking for him, boys. The hell is going on here? You have earned a long rest. Thank you, beautiful Galmina. So firm is your loyalty. None, none they killed him? That is really not good. They just killed him, really. Well, so much for that. Okay, she's crazy. Can I uh, can I do anything at all except from uh, going super slow mo or something? What the hell? I don't know if I was supposed to just continue go down, boys. Uh, I think I'm not going the right way. Like I'm supposed to speak to the elderman or something like that. The objective is pretty clear: speak to the elderman. Now, it's I think it's completely broken or something because the girl's obviously there. So what's the point of the mission actually right there? Hold on. There's a crack uh, that I can basically destroy right there. Let's find out uh, what's behind that that thing right there. Let's just find out real quick, boys. Where's all this? There's a lot of stuff right here. I can't see anything. It's so dark and all. Yeah, look at all this loot right there. Secret orbs, secret everything. Good lord. I think the game is completely broken, boys, or something like that. I I got a feeling at least the game is just completely broken. I can't do anything about it. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to end the video. We're going to figure this out in the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy it. Keep it easy, boys.